Hi friends, welcome to this video. Today we will be discussing about cat. Now cat is an, a very cute animal, is a very cute animal I would say. But that's not the cat we are talking about. We are talking about the a command called cat which is sh which is a short form for concatenate. You can check the documentation by doing man cat and you can see all the uh, options here. Uh, I, we will be discussing about these options in this video right now. So let's start by creating a file with cat. So we are going to use the command. Now as we are going to uh, write a file, we can just do cat file.txt. This is used to display a file, but we are going to create a file. So we can just do cat and uh, the file.txt. And you can see it will just uh, redirect you to the standard input we uh, where we can type anything mm, I'll and get this or just get demonstration sorry for the spelling mistake so as I wrote here you can exit using control D and if I check here I have a file here you can redirect the, uh, the output of this file into the screen using just cat file.txt and you can see I have the output here the reason being it is displayed uh, like this is because I haven't given a new line after the last line so the terminal output is uh, the terminal prompt is being displayed just after the command now I have uh, uh, let me create one more file cat file so I have created two files here cat file one uh, sorry cat file.txt using the cat file.txt and file2.txt I can display uh, I can concatenate I would say both the file using this command and in fact you can go to add number of uh, files so you can see I have the output of the first file that is file2.txt and the second file here if you you can change the order also so if I create let me clear it so I have created one more file and I can just do to file dot txt so it will display all the files here I can also do let me show you what's the output here so you can see I have all the output using cat start dot txt uh, using the wildcard mm. so these are the three operations that we uh, checked out first is was the using creating a file using the standard input so we are you can say redirecting the the input from the standard input as a keyboard to the file second is to check the file uh, data or we are redirecting the output of file or we can say we are concatenating the uh, the output of file with the standard output so it's being displayed on the screen third is uh, you can concatenate n number of files either by specifying the names or using a wildcard so these were the three basic commands uh, that we can or you can say three basic functions that we have achieved using the cat command now let's go into some of the options uh, suppose I want to let's check this file file3.txt and suppose I want to display the line numbers 
so you can see if I use the option hyphen n we are able to see the line numbers this is very helpful if you are doing any code or any source code so you can check for which line contains which text useful for debugging in case you want to check for the line endings so the dollar sign demonstrates the line endings using the option E you can check for the tab separated values using uh, hyphen T I do not have any uh, tab separated values here let me create one quickly let me be short I so I have created a tab separated file here so using the option T oh sorry for that see uh, it's displaying this because of the tab here two tabs here uh, which I have given here this is these are the two tabs and one uh, I again two tabs here so it's displaying this uh, the exponential sign and the uh, capital I to demonstrate a tab here also you can uh, use cat command to uh, you can say use it with uh, the pipe with some other commands for example if I have I have copied a uh, text this is uh, from Wikipedia let me create a file get linux.txt I always forgot to uh, have this redirection operator here I will paste this press ctrl D so I have a very long file here so what I want to do is to just I can use a uh, use a pipe with some other command and uh, this so this and uh, this less command will show uh, some of the data of of this uh, file I can also use grep with cat to display all the characters or you can say text which I am looking for and uh, I can use so these are the uh, you can say operations you can perform using the cat command and uh, we can we, uh, as we have seen here we can create a file using the redirection operator cat to new file and it will help us create a file we can read the file using the cat without any redirection operator also we can merge the files uh, one thing I, I forgot to tell you is that you can merge the files into a new file for example I want to catenate all the txt file into one dot I would say let me create a log file for that so it will create a file which has all the output of all the log files sorry all the txt files <coughs> so you can merge files as well and redirect it to a, a different file and these are the basic operations we can perform on files using the cat command I hope it was very helpful for you I uh, would suggest you to practice it and be <coughs> as uh, you can say innovative with it and be as creative with it in case you have any questions and feedbacks please uh, drop them in comments maybe uh, by your uh, innovative ideas or by your uh, creative ideas I would be learning something new as well uh, thanks for watching this video and have a great day hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe goodbye